sa ating first lesson, pag-aralan po natin yung interface ng ating software. Ang gagamitin po natin ay Adobe Animate. Okay, buksan po natin yung Adobe Animate. So, let's try to create a new file. Click on File and click on New. Pwede rin pong shortcut key, Control N. So, ito po yung lalabas na dialog box. We're in, meron po tayong mga presets for social. We have also for games, education, ads, web, and advanced. So, magkakaibang presets and platforms depende po doon sa magiging output ninyo using this kind of software. Basically, ito po yung gamit natin, character animation, and we are going to use the full HD, which is 1920 by 1080. Our default frame rate is 25. So, some of you fresh installed ng Animate, siguro 30 ang nakalagay dyan. For our platform type, we have two choices, Action Script or HTML5 Canvas. For now, we are going to use Action Script 3.0. Then, click on Create button. So, ito pa yung magiging itsura ng ating workspace. On the upper part, still nandyan po yung ating menu. We have File, Edit, View, Insert, hanggang Help. Some of this list sa ating menu ay magagamit po natin later on as we progress dito sa ating lesson. Kung meron po kayong panels na hindi po mahanap, just search here sa ating window. At baka nandyan po yung hinahanap ninyong panel. The white space is your workspace. Kung ano po yung nasa white space na yan, yun po yung makikita sa camera or sa inyong final output. So we have two basic navigation tools. The first one is zooming in and zooming out. So in order for us to use this one, we have here zoom tool sa bandang baba. Or basically, we can make use of shortcut key such as Z in your keyboard. So for zooming out, we can make use of control minus sa ating keyboard. Then nakakapag zoom out na po tayo. We have here also this option sa upper right corner wherein you can click the percentage of the zooming effect or otherwise, you can use this one fit in window so that is zooming in and zooming out okay let's try to draw using our brush tool so we have here brush tool or shortcut key b and you notice sa right side we have the properties wherein we have the blue fill the size is 23 you can modify it depending na po yan sa size minimum size and smoothing so let's try to draw and the other basic tool is the hand tool okay so sa lower part let's click this hand tool or H sa yung keyboard you can now pan to right or pan left just click and drag your cursor yan so basically ang hand tool ay para sa panning ng yung workspace lalo na pag naka zoom in ka let's try to zoom out pag meron po tayong drawings outside our workspace hindi na po makikita yan sa inyong final output. In order for you na hindi ma-distract, you can click this button para maklip niya yung mga objects or contents outside the stage. Kung masyado naman kayo nadidiliman sa interface ng yung animate, you can modify that just by going to edit, then preferences. Edit preferences. Dito sa UI theme, pwede natin palitan niya ng darkest, light, or lightest. Yan. For the sake of this tutorial, gamitin natin tong lightest as our UI theme. Click on OK. This part naman yung tinatawag nating timeline. And you notice, ang setup po natin is 1 second or 25 frames per second. Ito po yun. Ito po yung seconds po niya. Like this one, 1 second. For 1 second, we have 25 frames. But if you want to change your frames na naset up mo kanina, you can go to the properties panel and search for FPS. Modify this part. You can type in the frame that you want to and hit enter. Also, you can change the size. Just click on it and modify the document size. Ayan. So you notice, nagkaroon po ng changes sa ating stage. And then, sa ating timeline, we have 1 second, we have 30 frames. Kaya tinawag siyang FPS. 30 frames per second. So, let's go back. Control Z to undo the changes. And if you want to save your file, go to File, click on Save, or use the shortcut keys, Control S. Change the name. And 
and our file extension is .fla or flash file. Click on save. At dyan po nagtatapos ang ating lesson about Adobe Animate, particularly the interface of the software. Hopefully, masama niyo pa ako sa next lesson. Palike naman and subscribe to my channel para lagi kang updated sa mga bagong episodes na darating. Kitikits ulit sa susunod na episode. God bless!